and this is my poem entitled Free. Stats show my people are oppressed. When we walk, we're pinned to the ground. When we breathe, we're suffocated, suffocated by a system meant to destroy. Destroy us, destroy our unity, destroy our families. Rip the black man from his family, leave the youth to try to fend for themselves, leave black mothers in puddles. No. Lakes. Mm -mm. Oceans of tears, the vicious cycle is tearing at us. See, the 13th only gave them the right to enslave us lawfully. And there's a system against us because it ain't meant for us to go farther than the white man. Did you know that black folk are 10 times more likely to receive life? And it ain't because we ain't got no life outside of drugs. It's because stats show black folk receive harsher sentences, harsher punishments, harsher lives. Well, maybe that one isn't proven by stats yet, but we all know it's true. Why else would brothers and sisters be in jail so they're gray and blue? I mean, we're denied everything. Denied bail, denied rights, denied calm nights, anger e nights, and you call me the crazy one? As if I'm crazy for being angry with a world that doesn't like me, doesn't like me living and breathing the same air, just putting us in jail cells so our rights are impaired. My black skin shouldn't be threatening to a country built on the backs of it. How long will it take y'all to admit that to y'all we are unfit for this world, this America, this land of the free? But we got all these peoples in jails and I'm sure they agree. Ain't nobody in there free. But I don't have to be behind bars to see that sometimes when my people get locked up, it's not that safety is the priority. It's so white people can declare their superiority. Thank you.